Hey what's going on guys this is Nikhil from Mobox and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create this really cool looking 2D animation in After Effects. So without any further ado let's get straight into the video and get started. So this is a really cool and simple looking animation but it looks really complex at the moment and I'm going to show you guys how to do it so. So let's start by creating a new project. Create a new project, hit save to save it up. And let's create a new composition. Let's name this to our main comp. 1920 into 1080, 30 frames, 5 seconds and hit OK. So let's pretty quickly start by creating an ellipse. So just double click on it. So create an ellipse like so. We don't need any stroke for now. So I'm going to set this to 0. And fill is OK for white. So let's rename this to circle. Go to ellipse 1, ellipse path 1 and unlink this and change the size to 35 by 35 and link this up. Then we can hit control shift edge to hide the control layer so we can just easily you know move it up and have a good look over it. So first of all I'm gonna go and create or turn on my title action safe. Select the layer and hit P to bring down the position properties and start animating our circle. So at the very beginning, I'm going to create a keyframe like so. Go to let's say 20 frames. Bring it up like that. And maybe I'll just bring this down to 15 frames. Go to 1 second and bring this down right over here. Just like that. Go 10, go 15 frames ahead in time. Select this keyframes and hit Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste it. Right click, go to keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes. So now we should have something like this. Really lame at the moment. Maybe I'll just set this to 10 frames and this right over here. Then I'm going to select the keyframes. And hit F9 to easy ease them. Go to graph editor and let's create a really nice motion for our animation. And it's gonna be really simple. I'm just gonna select the two of these keyframes and just drag this handles just like that. Select this keyframes, this keyframes, and drag the handles just like that. Just like that. So now we have something like that. You can see it looks pretty good. Now that is looking pretty good. Then we can go ahead and pre-comp this circle. And I'm just going to call this circle. Or maybe circle underscore 01. Alright. Then hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. It is to bring down the scale properties, unlink the scale properties and I'm going to set this to minus 100. So now we have something like this. Maybe I'll add a fill so that we can see the difference between two circles or we can identify the two circles. Control C, Control V to paste the fill and change this to a different color, maybe a kind of blue so we can see it more properly. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is create a new null object and let's name this rot for rotation. And before getting into null object, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close this up and create that line that appears during the animation. So to create that, I'm going to go somewhere around, let's say here, select the pen tool. Set the stroke to around 3 pixels and create a line like so. Hold shift just to be accurate. So there we have it. Hit S to bring down the scale properties, unlink this and then we can animate the scale like so. So right over here, maybe I'll go one frame behind. Just let's see right over here and set this to somewhere around there. Let's just set this to 0 and create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch. Go few frames forward in time. So let's say maybe right over here. Scale this up. 
few frames forward, scale this up and just keep on scaling it, filling up the gaps just like so. And there we go, somewhere around there. Scale this back down. And just, you know, keep on doing the complete process just like so. It won't take much time, just... Okay, so I'm going to set this to zero. So now we should have something like that. So let's easy ease them. Oh, we don't need to. Maybe I'll just easy ease them. Just hide our title action safe and also hit control shift H to hide our control layers and bring this shape. Let's rename this to line and bring this below our circle. So now we have something like this. Yep, this is looking pretty good. Yep, this is looking pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the three layers, select the parent and just parent it to the null object. So now we can go ahead and rotate the null object and it's going to rotate all the three layers all right so at the very beginning i'm going to create a keyframe go to two seconds at the end of the animation and set this to 180. select the keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease them go to graph editor and create kind of a peak just like so So now we have something like that. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, that is looking pretty good. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the layers, right click and pre comp it. Let's call this O1. Hit OK. And just add a fill maybe. Set this to something like a dark pink. There we go. And then I'm just going to duplicate it. Now you can create a number of copies, like too many copies if you want to go with. But for now, I'm just going to create few, let's say maybe five copies. Something like that. Control D to duplicate it, change the color to whatever that you want to go with. Just hold shift and just drag it. Control D. Maybe I'll make it kind of a dark orange a light orange there we go select them and just align it turn on our title action save and just center this up and there we have a really cool looking animation now you can leave it at this point but to make it look more dramatic and more complex i'll say so we can just displace them by two frames just you know drag it them and displace them by two frames just like that and now we have this really cool looking animation and to add a bit more character to it what we can do is we can make it as complex as we want so for example if i show you guys i can just select the circles hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring this down maybe i'll change the color so we can just identify it and scale this down to let's say 50 percent so now we have two circles don't see the blue one I don't know why oh it's right over there so what we can do is we can just delete it select the blue one hit control shift H so we can see the control layers probably yep control D and scale this down to 50% and there we have it now if we go back in our main comp we have some really cool looking animation and it's pretty simple and easy pretty quickly I'm gonna add a background and there we have it a really nice looking animation which is really simple to create but looks kind of complex and interesting so I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe I'll see you in the next video